hey there welcome and welcome back to grow med so in this video we will discuss about the uh, images which are important for the radio so radiology images and image based question which are asked in the past years we will discuss them and this will be a quick revision kind of a video which will help you uh, in the last minute revision and also you'll be like uh, what a quick um, tea break or coffee break video so it will be some 10 15 minutes and in that you can quickly see all the important things which you must know okay so without wasting much time let's start the video and if you're new to grow med subscribe to grow med join with me on the telegram channel for more amazing stuff the link is given in the description box so the first image you can see here this arrow mark this arrow mark is pointing towards the diaphragm and you can see here this part like this this is the air under the diaphragm let me write it down air under diaphragm and the cause of this air under the diaphragm is the perforation the perforation of the bowel and the most common cause is the peptic ulcer disease okay so the three things which you must remember about this image first one the air under the diaphragm then perforation peptic ulcer disease do remember the image also okay and if a case is asked no they can describe in relation with the peptic ulcer disease comes with the abdominal pain and on x-ray you can see these finding okay now let's discuss the next image again a very very important image asked in integration with surgery then radio then pediatric okay so this is a very important image and you can see here this cause is the congenital diaphragmatic hernia and you can see here that the herniation is present here the hernia is present here due to which the uh, bowel and the um, small intestine is herniated into the chest and you can see multiple air fluid levels which are suggestive of the small intestine present in the chest and the lung is pushed towards the um, other side okay so this is the classical image and asked multiple times so you must and should remember this image and congenital diaphragmatic hernia uh, so the things are asked like on the what um, clinical case kind of things like what all will be seen in the child so the child will present with respiratory distress because the lungs are compressed and then herniation of the small intestine so coiling of the rials tube in the chest and then scaphoid abdomen because you know uh, the scaphoid abdomen because these things uh, herni um, the bowel is herniated into the chest so bowel is empty so that's why it is called as a scaphoid abdomen okay so all these things you must remember and the treatment is mesh pal mesh plastic will repair the defect okay so these are the things which you must remember so see here i'm trying to like uh, cover the radiology as well as along with that the other things asked in uh, other subjects also so that in one go you will be revising all the things related to that disease now let's moving on to the next image so this image is the miliary tb so chest x-ray of the tb and you can see here that miliary tb means the tb which is widespread everywhere into the lungs and you can see here multiple dots like this so just image based question have been asked that a patient present with cough and the night sweats and weight loss sudden weight loss and just chest x-ray is given and what will be the cause so it will be the miliary tb or what will be the diagnosis miliary tb okay then moving on to the next image so next image as you can see here that the chest x-ray you can see here that this x-ray uh, the right side of the lung is uh, uh, short and you can see here some curve no this curve so this one is due to the collection of the fluid here which is called as the hydrothorax so this is the classical image of the hydro thorax and the causes can be like uh, it can also be seen in some conditions where there's fluid collection like cardiac tamponade also because you know pleural fluid collection will be there and uh, yes hydrothorax and uh, fluid also can be filled like pleural effusion in that also such kind of image can be seen not cardiac tamponade actually it's a pleural fluid a uh, pleural effusion in which such kind of image can be seen then moving on to the next so these are the three images of the esophagus uh, barium swallow so these are the images of the barium swallow and let's look at the diseases in which these kind of findings are seen so the first finding you can see here that the esophagus is uh, broadened and you can see here this rail bird beak appearance bird beak appearance also called as a rat tail uh, appearance and this one is seen in the ecclesia cardia so a c h a l a 
Ecclesia cardia because uh, you know this is an important topic Ecclesia cardia a repeat topic and frequently questions are asked on this image based case based and all those things so Ecclesia cardia it is due to the absence of the relaxation due to which the esophageal sphincter will not relax and there will be regurgitation of the food seen and there will be dysphagia also and the pathology is that decreased release of the nitric oxide okay so this is the pathology behind this Ecclesia cardia then this image famous image this is the image of the diffuse esophageal spasm and you can see here that corkscrew appearance of the esophagus this occurs due to high motility of the esophagus okay then the investigation of choice for all these esophageal diseases is the manometry so uh, note it down another one pyq manometry okay manometry is the investigation of choice then this image this is the image of the Zenker's diverticulum so you can see here that the esophageal pouch is being formed and uh, let me write it down Zenker and in the Zenker diverticulum the things which you must remember is the pathology what why it occurs it occurs due to the um, what weakness in between the muscles the inferior constrictor muscles so you need to also look know the location where the Zenker diverticulum occur between the thyro pharyngeus and the cricopharyngeus and this is the image varium swallocene then uh, th uh, the location is also called as the Kilian's uh, triangle so Kilian's dehiscence uh, in that region due to defect in that region this will be occurring and the treatment is this uh, Heller's myotomy so not Heller myotomy it is the Dolman's procedure which is done for this Dolman's procedure and for the Ecclesia it is the Heller myotomy so note it down another one point Heller's myotomy to me okay then so yeah these were some important esophageal barium swallow diseases now let's uh, look at some other important diseases quickly so this is the famous image asked uh, and this is the horse shoe kidney as you can see here that the kidney appears like a horse shoe so this one is the image of the horse shoe kidney and questions are asked that defect why does this occur so it is due to the abnormal ascent and uh, the what uh, the inferior mesenteric artery will not allow the kidney to travel upwards so that's why this defect will be caused or show kidney most commonly seen in the male children okay then moving on to the next image this image is of the bronchiectasis and this is the ct of a uh, chest and you can appreciate here these things these are the dilated bronchioles and the signet ring appearance so this is the dilated bronchioles and this is the blood vessel surrounded by it and a famous image and also the famous disease bronchiectasis okay so the next image uh, this image is of the pulmonary thromboembolism like as you can see here this is a thrombus which is uh, embedded into the pulmonary artery right at the bifurcation and so the questions are asked on the investigation of choice which is the CT and geography so this is the question asked multiple times CT and geography and uh, the case if at all a case is asked they can describe something some risk factors like a, a patient is prolonged bedridden or a patient is having dvt okay something like this will be described okay so yes these are the things which you must remember for this at uh, pulmonary thromboembolism and also sometimes the ecg changes have been asked so it is uh, q s1 s1 q3 t3 okay so pulmonary thromboembolism then moving on to the next image the image of the high dotted cyst and this is the water lily sign so high dotted cyst again a important topic and yes the image this sign is called as a water lily sign that means the floating membranes of the floating uh, in the liver okay then the next image this image is of the imperforate anus so you can see here that in invertogram this one is the invertogram done for the imperforate high anus we will be checking the passage of the fluid uh, fluid gas whether it is there or no and then we will come to the conclusion then moving on to again this is also a repeat uh, image asked multiple times so this is the image of the male what membranes urethra and the urinary bladder they'll mark some structures and they'll ask what is this and this is the retro urethrogram retro urethrogram and they'll ask which structure is being marked so you can see here this is the urinary bladder and the fluid is filled here the contrast actually the contrast is filled here 
then you can see here this is the prosthetic urethra this part this is the membranous urethra then this is the bulbar urethra and this is the penile urethra okay so similarly same images but from a different angle this is being asked okay then the next image image of the pancreatic cyst okay so this image is of the pancreatic pseudocyst and this is a complication associated with the acute as well as the chronic pancreatitis then the next image so this image you can see here that multiple stones are present in the gallbladder and this is the gallbladder and these are the multiple cysts and you can see here the shadow of them so okay so this one is the acute cholelithia cyst so female is the most common uh, it will be seen in females and they can also be described things like uh, what um, abdominal pain on the right side and all these things if at all a clinical case is being asked so let me write it down acute cole cystitis lithiasis not cystitis acute cole lithiasis then the next image so we'll discuss some gynec images also here so that these you don't miss it because these are very important and from this pdf surely you will be getting one or two uh, question uh, what images in the upcoming exam like i feel it and i am expecting one two images from this um, pdf okay so this is the image of the what um pcod and pcos ovary this you can see here this is the ovary and you can see here multiple follicles arranged at the periphery okay so the classical uh, appearance called is the necklace of pearl appearance or string of pearl appearance and these are the multiple small follicles which are seen in case of the pcos okay so this is the thick stroma present here and uh, for more things related to this pcod uh, read do watch the gynec videos in that i've discussed all the things so the female will be having insulin resistance and the weight will be high and uh, a hirsutism can also be seen hirsutism is an important feature associated with these and so yes these are the things about the pcod you can also see secondary amenorrhea so patient will be also having amenorrhea so we need to do the um what uh, lifestyle modifications for this patient and then we need to give the drugs like the combined oral contraceptive pills or some other drugs for the regular cycle and for hirsutism we need to give the letrozole or this burning of the ovary so ovarian drill by burning this thick trauma then moving on to the next image the next image is of the ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome as you can see here that the these is also an ovary but the follicles are of a much greater size in this image and these have like grown much than the required and when these rupture you can see the estrogen released into the uh, uh, blood and due to the estrogen you can see the collection of the fluid uh, third spaces collection and due to which the patient will develop edema swelling and all okay so this is about the ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome most commonly associated with the ovulation induction in case of infertility or ivf for that we will be doing ovulation induction and in that a patient can develop these so last two images the image this image is called as the snowstorm appearance and this is seen with the choriocarcinoma choriocarcinoma carcinoma of the placenta choriocarcinoma and uh, the what uh, this is mainly due to the increased H beta hcg levels will be increased in case of this choriocarcinoma and questions are also asked on the stages that a uh, stage 1 it is uh, limited to the uterus then stage 2 to the surrounding structure stage 3 to the lungs and stage 4 distant metastasis and yeah this one okay then the last image this is a classical image seen with the uh, asherman syndrome and you can see here this is the uterus and this is the filling defect seen and this is the uterus this are the fallopian tubes okay and this is the hysterosalpingography hysterosalpingography and in that you can see filling defect seen in the asherman syndrome and asherman syndrome in the sense what uh, this is the um, occurs due to the over scraping over zealous scraping of the endometrium due to which the endometrium will become dry and will not proliferate okay so this is a cause of the secondary amenorrhea and if a case is asked now they can describe things like a female had undergone abortion and after the abortion or the dnc a female had undergone d and c and after that presents with secondary amenorrhea what might be the cause to so asherman syndrome 
so yes these were some important images which you must and should know for the upcoming fmge i hope this video is helpful to you and for more amazing videos uh, subscribe to gromed and follow me on telegram channel thank you so much guys once again all the best for the exam bye bye